So here's a word that we hear a lot that most people don't know what it is. It's ICA. ICA. Woo! It's an independent contractor agreement, and it really is the first formal contractual agreement that you will have mm -hmm. when you join EXP Realty, any brokerage actually. But with EXP, we know that there are a couple of scary moments okay. filling out of that ICA. And so we just want to kind of do a little FAQ about that. So number one, what about um, how many dual licensed? I've got okay. a license in New York and I've got a license in Massachusetts. Yeah. Why can't I keep my license in New York and have a license hang with EXP Realty in Massachusetts? Can I do that? Great question. So. The general answer is we don't encourage you to do that. As a matter of fact, we don't allow it in the long run. Why do you want to park your license in two different states anyhow? Have two different accounting systems, two different um, websites, two different operations manual, two different brokerages, two different sets of business cards, two different websites, right? Two different compensation plans, right? If you're at a capping, if you're if you're paying one company $23,000, another company $36,000, well, add all that up. The benefit of bringing both licenses, or th two or three or four licenses over the XP Lisa, is you have one cap. Nice. One $16,000 cap, okay? Then or another reason is EXP wants all of your business. We're giving you so much mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. tools, training, support systems. As a matter of fact, we are subsidizing your KV Core lead generation system. It, you're getting all of your KV Core as part of your 85 monthly fee. Guess what? If you go to the open market for the same system, how much does it cost? I think it's a thousand dollars to set it up, and about five hundred a month, included with everything else. SkySlope is also Sky in the Slope. open market. Sixty hours of live training, mm -hmm. all the support, right? So we want it all. We want all of you. Yeah, for sure. So another question that comes up a lot is, hey, wait a minute, why do I have to give a credit card, a debit card, and my bank account number mm -hmm. when I'm just filling out this ICA? What's up with that? Sure. We need a credit card so that we can deduct that very small initial investment of 140 and then the <laughs> monthly fee of the $85, right? You don't want to pay it every month and we don't want to chase you for, for every month. So a credit card makes a lot of sense. So that's why the credit card. The bank account, because you want to get paid your commissions, right? Uh, yes. Gone are the days where you have to drive <laughs> to the office to pick up a check, silliness. Yeah. And then so, go to your bank and deposit it or do we, whatever, yeah. Yeah, we want your bank account so that we can de directly deposit money into your account from a real sales perspective, rental perspective, and for those who want to take advantage of the referral income, revenue share income, we do that as well. Absolutely. Great. I mean, it makes sense. You know, of course, they have to have it. Now, there's another question about the stock purchase plan. Most people who sign up for EXP mm -hmm. understand that there is an equity piece of this business model. Mm -hmm. and we can receive stock in five different ways, but one of those ways is with the 5% of our gross commission yeah. at a 10% discount. Well, I'm asked about that when I'm filling out the ICA. Well, how do I make that choice and can I change that choice later? Yes, so the answer is yes, that is your choice. It is totally optional for you to tuck away 5% of your gross commission income to buy the company stock at a 10% discount. Guys, gals, that's an amazing value. Yeah. Right? I came from a real estate brokerage. At least at one point, you worked for a brokerage as well. And we paid royalties, franchise fees to the tune of 6%. Some of you are paying 7 some of you are paying 8%. At EXP, we don't have any franchise fees, no royalty fees. So instead of paying another company to build their brand, the 6 7 8% royalties, how about taking 5% to buy the EXPI stock, our EXP World Holding stock, at a 10% discount? And by the way, that's your money. If you buy that, at a 10% discount is what we get it for you. And you need that money the next month for an emergency in the family, sell it. Yeah, Morgan Stanley. All right, boom, you sell it, it's your money. So go ahead and do that. It's optional and you can opt in and opt out whenever you'd like. And I can tell you, Tom, that is one of the big reasons initially that I made the decision to come over to EXP. I have worked as an independent contractor or entrepreneur my whole life. And so no one's ever offered me a business 401k plan. I just haven't had the option. You know, yes, years ago I set up an IRA and, uh, you know, of course have that, but uh, I've never been able to really tuck um, away money. And the idea that I would have this ability to grow a nest egg for yeah. my family, for my new grandbaby, all of that uh, was something that was never in my reach. So that is such a huge portion. And, you know, when you sell a couple of luxury properties, that 10% you know, I mean, that 5% of your gross commission can kind of look like a big number flying out the window 
but trust me, I would not have taken that money and put it into something else. I I just wouldn't have. I don't have yeah. the discipline. Maybe some people, you're good with, you know, mm -hmm. maybe you would have, but I didn't. So for me to have that built in nest egg savings plan yeah. has been an amazing thing. Think about this. Here's a little bonus for you guys. The average agent, let's say, sells about $80,000 in gross commission income, right? That's a capping agent in our system, right? So you pay 20% to the company, that's 16,000, you keep $64,000. Mm -hmm. You have the ability to take 5% of that, which is $3,200 per year, to buy the company stock at a 10% discount, which means we're gonna get you about $3,500 worth of stock, yep. about 3,200 bucks, yep. that's what it costs you. In our old world, guys, Lisa and I were paying six, seven, maybe eight percent. And when we left after a year, where did that thirty-two hundred bucks go? Somebody else's pocketbook. Bye bye. Yeah. Right. So this is how agents at EXP can build wealth, mm -hmm. can build their own retirement pension plan, rainy day fund. We call it the Agent Stock Equity Program. And so please take advantage of that. It's for your own good. Yeah. And let it pile up over time. Yeah. So we say absolutely say yes on that question, but it's optional and you can check yes later. Just wanted to sort of, you know, get rid of that, that sort of scary piece of it. And we talked about switching sponsors. Yeah. Um, so I know again in the ICA it asks, are you sure you want to name the sponsor? Are you really sure you want to name the sponsor? Like are you really sure you want to name this sponsor? So um, tell us a little bit about what would need to happen if you find that you want to switch sponsors. Uh, how does that work? How do we how do we go about that? We discourage as a company to switch sponsors, right? You should really work with your sponsor to make it through and make a success out of this uh, company. But remember, your sponsor is just one cog in the wheel. You've got six other sponsors above your one sponsor. There's always seven tiers of revenue sharing. All those people have your financial well-being, your part of their best interest, right? So just reach upline or reach up to the organization to find who it is. But in addition to that, you've got your state broker. You've got mm -hmm. everyone else in the organization to help you. Other people that would have You've been got workplace. You've got everybody to help you, right? We said have such a collaborative environment. Yeah. Worst yeah. comes to worst, and you just can't stand it anymore, then you've got to leave the company. Again, we don't encourage it, but you got to be gone for six months and you lose some of that stock that you might have gotten that you have not vested yet. And then you have to come back in six months and one day later, name a new sponsor. Again, we discourage that, but it is a loophole. Yeah, and it, again, it just underlines a point that we made in an earlier video, that it's very important to consider the choice of a sponsor, make sure it's a great fit, make sure that you really are aligned with them, mm -hmm. make sure they're connected and active in EXP, make sure that they are contributing in a way that feels right for you. And, and if they are, then, then you're gonna be, uh, you're gonna be in very good hands for sure.